Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Mighty Networks. I'll cover everything you need to know to get started and make the most out of this platform. By the way, if you're interested in joining Mighty Networks, use my special link below the video. When you sign up using that link, I'll send you my top-notch high-quality Notion templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. They're worth $900 plus, but you'll get all that for free as a thank you for using my link because it's an affiliate link. When you use it, I do get a small commission at no cost to you. So thank you so much for using that. So let's dive in and start with the basics. What exactly is Mighty Network? Well, Mighty Network is a platform that allows you to easily create your own online community or network. It's like having your own social media platform, but with more control and customization options. It allows creators to build and manage digital communities, host online courses, create memberships and sell products. It offers a bunch of features, including chat, live streaming, events, and much more. It's good for businesses or individuals who want to share their knowledge and expertise with others. It's also a great way to connect with people who share your interests, build a loyal community, and grow your brand. However, in my opinion, Mighty Networks isn't the best platform out there, but it's still a good option. I personally recommend Kajabi as a better alternative. If you'd like to learn more, check out my Kajabi review video linked in the description. You can also try Kajabi for free for 30 days using the link in the description. Now you know what Mighty Networks is, let's move and sign up for a new account. To get started with Mighty Networks, head to mightynetworks.com. This will take you straight to the official website. Once you're on the home page, look for the start free trial button and click on it. It will take you to the sign up page where you can create an account. Now you'll see a couple of options to sign up. You can upload a photo, enter your first and last name and sign up with your email. Or you can use your Google, Facebook, LinkedIn or Apple account. Just pick the option that works works best for you. For now, I'll go with signing up using a Google account since it's simple and quick. After signing up, you'll be taken to your account dashboard. The dashboard is your main hub to manage and grow your community. On the left side navigation menu, you'll find the quick access to all the core features of Mighty Networks. First, there's a create button. This is where you can easily make new courses, start discussions, or add anything else to keep your members engaged. Next, there's the from the Mighty Team section. This is your private space for updates, announcements, and important info shared directly by the Mighty Networks team. After that, the members tab lets you see every everyone in your community. It's a simple way to connect with them whenever you need. Then there's the feed tab. This is where all the latest updates, posts and discussions show up so you can stay in the loop with what's happening in your network. And the discovery tab helps you find new content, groups or network members. It also highlights trending posts, featured content and important updates. Plus the events tab is there to help you plan and manage upcoming events. It's a great way to keep your community active and involved. Further down the create a space option lets you set up different sections for specific topics or groups within your community. And finally, the create a collection feature helps you organize content around a specific theme. So that's a quick overview of the dashboard. Next, let's discuss how to create your own course in Mighty Networks. To create a course in Mighty Networks, first click the create button at the top of the left side menu. When you click it, a menu will pop up with options like courses and discussion. Since we want to create a new course, choose courses to move forward. Now you'll see options to build your course with. You can add things like go live, section, lesson, and quiz. Each of these options lets you customize the course so it fits the learning experience you have in mind. Let's say you pick lesson, and once you do, it gets added to your course. After that, the next screen will show you an overview of your course layout. Here, you can see sections for lessons, quizzes, and other types of content. It's all laid out in a way that makes it easy to organize everything into clear learning modules. Then, inside each section, you can add multiple lessons and quizzes. This lets you create a fun and engaging learning experience. At the bottom of the page, there's a create button. You can use this to add new sections, lessons, or quizzes to your course. We have added a lesson, so let's see how to add content to it. Hover over the lesson and you'll see a pencil icon appear. When you click that icon, it opens a new window on the right side. This is where you can add content to your lesson. When adding content in Mighty Networks, the first thing to do is give the lesson a name. You can edit the default name by clicking on it and typing in something more specific. For example, if the default title is new lesson, you could change it to something like introduction to digital marketing or demo course. This makes the course structure clear and easier to follow for learners. The main content area begins with the prompt, start writing your lesson here. When you click on this area, you can type and format your lesson. It's a simple space where you can add text explanations, instructions, or important information that learners need. 
This area works like a text editor. You can organize the content so it's clear, easy to read and engaging for learners. Next to the content area, there's a plus button that opens more options to improve your lesson. When you click it, you'll see choices like adding a photo, a video or a file. This lets you include media directly into the lesson and makes it more fun and visually interesting. You could also add a video link to embed videos from platforms like YouTube or Vimeo. There's even an embed option to insert third party content like interactive elements or widgets to make learning more engaging. The formatting tools are simple but effective. You can use unordered or ordered lists to organize key points or steps. Plus, there's an option to add a horizontal line to separate sections, which keeps everything neat and easy to follow. Under lesson settings, you can manage your course visibility, unlocking options and notifications for when lessons become available. You can control how learners mark lessons as complete, assign accountability with the lesson owner field and enable or disable comments to include encourage engagement. Additionally, you can upload a thumbnail for a visual preview, decide if lessons can be previewed before starting, and save all changes to make the lesson ready for learners. Once you've completed the lesson, click the save button at the top right corner to save it to your course. Now, the process is the same. If you want to add more lessons, just go ahead and add them. To add content to each lesson, you can follow the same process we discussed. Now, let's discuss how to create a discussion in Mighty Networks. Discussions are an excellent way to engage members and foster the connections within your community. To begin, click the Create button at the top of the left side menu again. This time, pick Discussion from the options. A drop down menu will appear with choices for the type of discussion you want to create, like Go Live, Quick Post, Article, or Question or Poll. For example, Go Live lets you host a live video session. Quick Post is great for short text based discussions, Article works well for longer, detailed content, and Question or Poll is perfect for engaging your audience interactively. For this demo, we will choose Quick Post. A new window will open where you can add your content. The discussion screen is a space where you can share ideas, updates or prompts to keep the community engaged. At the top of the feed, you'll see a text box that says share what's on your mind. When you click inside, you could type out a message, a topic or even an announcement for everyone to see. Below the text box, there are some easy to use media options to make your post stand out. You'll find options to add images, GIFs or even go live with video. These tools help make your discussions more fun and interactive. There is also also an expand to article option, which lets you turn a quick post into a detailed article style format. This is great for sharing longer content or more structured ideas that need extra depth. On the right side of the text box, there are settings to manage post visibility and interactions. When your post is ready, just click the post button to share it with the community feed so members can see it. If needed, the drop down menu next to the post button gives options to schedule your post. This simple process makes it easy to create posts that spark conversations and allow members to connect on the Mighty Networks platform. Now, let me show you how to go live in Mighty Networks. Going live is a fantastic way to connect with your community, host events, and share knowledge in real time. To begin, click the profile icon at the top right corner. From there, choose go live in the network. This will open a new window to get everything ready for the live stream. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a setup panel under the heading ready to go. The first field in this section is for naming your live stream. It will automatically include your name followed by is live, but feel free to edit Edit it to something that better fits your stream. Below the name field, you'll see the network where your live stream will appear so you can make sure it's being shared with the right audience. The camera section lets you pick a video source. Also, there are extra options like mirror my video, which flips your video to look more natural. Plus, there's a blur background, which helps keep things private and puts the focus on you. These features make your video clearer and give a more polished professional look. The microphone section works in a pretty straightforward way. There's an input level bar that shows how much sound the microphone is picking up so you can be sure it's working properly. There's also an option called voice isolation that you could turn on to block background noise and make your voice sound clearer. Below that, the speaker section lets you pick which device you want to use for audio output. There's also a test button so you can check if your speakers are working before the start of the live stream. Further down, you'll see two checkboxes for extra live stream settings. The first option, record this live stream, make sure that your session is saved so members who miss it can watch later. The second option, notify 
notify members you're going live, sends out notifications to let your community know you're live in real time. At the bottom, there's a summary bar that shows the number of streaming hours left and how many participants can join. If you need more hours or space for extra participants, you can upgrade. Once everything is set up, clicking the Go Live Now button will start the live stream and connect you to your audience instantly. Now, now let me show you how to invite members in Mighty Networks. Community building is all about connecting with people and inviting new members to your network is a great way to expand your reach and grow your community. To invite members, click the Members tab on the left menu. This will take you to the Members page. Here you can manage your current members and invite new ones. To invite new members, click on the Invite button in the top right corner, which opens a new invitation panel where you can send out invites and track referral progress. At the top of the Invite panel, there's a section called Invite Members Earn Rewards. It's a way to encourage users to bring in new members to the network. You'll see how many referrals you've made and how many more you need to unlock the next reward level. Right below, there's a unique invite link that you can copy and share with others. This link makes it simple for people to join directly without needing an email invite. Further down, there's an option to invite people by email. This only works if you're on the community plan or a higher plan. If your current plan doesn't include email invites, you'll see an upgrade button to activate this feature. Below that, there's another option called Invite to Plan. This lets you pick a specific plan for new members to join. If you don't choose a plan, they'll be directed to the default network landing page. In the email invitation section, you can add up to 100 email addresses at a time to send bulk invites. There's also an option to upload a list of email addresses, which makes things easier. Below that, you'll see a pre-written invite message. You can customize it before sending it if you want to make it more personal. The default message introduces the community and encourages people to join but you can add a custom touch. In the network permissions section, you get to decide the role of the people you're inviting. There's a drop down menu where you could choose to invite them as regular members or give them higher permissions like members, host, or moderators. Picking the right level makes sure everyone has the right access for their role in the community. When everything looks good, hit the send button and the invitations will go out so the new members can join the network. Now, let's talk about how to create a space in Mighty Networks. Spaces are like mini communities inside your network where people can focus focus on specific interests, topics, or activities. They help members connect with others who share similar ideas and have more focused conversations. To begin, click on the Create a Space option in the left menu. This will open a sidebar on the right where you can pick a template for your space. There are a bunch of different templates to choose from like chat, feed, cohort course, content only course, challenge, habit tracker, etc. For demo, if you want to make a chat space, click the View Template button under it. This will open the chat creation window and you could start building building your space from there. First, there's the space name field. This is where you type the name for your chat space. The name should match what the space is for, like community chat or marketing discussions, so people know right away what it's about. Below that, you'll see the space tagline field. This one's optional, but it's a great place to add a short description about the space. The tagline gives extra context and helps set the tone for conversations. Next, the collection field gives you a drop down menu to group the space into the general or specific collection. This helps keep everything organized and makes it easier for members to find the right discussions. Then, the privacy setting lets you choose how visible the space should be. By default, it's set to secret, so it stays hidden while you're working on it. There are other options like public or private depending on how open you want the space to be for members. Additionally, there's a section about payments. It explains that you can set up a plan to give people access to the space. After the space is created, you can configure payment gates and screening options. This makes it easy to monetize or limit access to premium content. Once all the details are ready, just click the Create Space button to finish the setup. Now let's discuss what a collection is and how to create one in Mighty Networks. Collections are a way to organize and group similar spaces together in your network. This makes it easier for members to navigate and find the content they're interested in. To create a collection, click on Create a Collection in the left menu. When you click, a panel will open on the right side and that's where you'll set everything up. First, you'll see the field called Collection Name. Here, you'll need to type a title that clearly shows what the collection is all about. For example, if it's for premium courses, then you can go with something like Exclusive Learning Hub. Below that, there's another field 
field called collection tagline. This part is optional, but it's useful for adding a short description of your collection. For instance, you can write something like premium self-paced courses or all community events in one place to help others know what to expect. Next, the collection visibility settings control who can see a collection. It can either be visible to everyone or only to members in specific spaces. By default, it's set to visible, which means the collection and its spaces will show up in the left navigation panel, even for members who haven't joined any spaces yet. However, if you want to change the visibility, you can change it to hidden, so only members of a selected space can see the collection and its spaces. Once you fill in all the important details, just click the create button to finish setting up the collection. Now, let's discuss how to integrate Mighty Networks with other platforms. Mighty Networks offers a variety of integrations that can help you connect with your members and streamline your community building process. To integrate Mighty Networks with other platforms, the first thing to do is click on the profile icon in the top right corner. This will open up the account menu. From there, you'll see options like personal settings, bookmarks, drafts, scheduled posts, and live stream recordings. For network admins, there are even more features like Mighty Billing Plan, Go Live in the Network, and Mighty Insights. These tools give you extra control over your network. From here, click on Admin Options. This takes you to the main page where you can manage integrations and other advanced settings. Within the admin panel, when you scroll down, you'll see a section called Integrations. This is where you can link Mighty Networks with other tools and services you might already use. Some of the options include affiliate programs, custom email domains, custom network domains, Google Analytics, and marketing tools. Plus, there are other integrations like Quaderno for managing taxes, Single Sign-On or SSO for easy login, and Zoom for hosting live meetings. When you click on any of these integrations, you can adjust the settings and connect your Mighty Networks platform to those external platforms. For example, to set up Stripe for payments, go to the Stripe payments section under integrations. When you click on that option, it opens a new window where you can see a connect Stripe button. When you click it, a new tab will open. From there, you can enter your email address and log in to your Stripe account. Once you're logged in, authorize Mighty Networks to connect with Stripe. Once everything is connected, Stripe takes care of subscriptions, one-time payments, and financial reporting, all directly within Mighty Networks. It's seamless and keeps everything in one place. Finally, let's discuss plans and pricing for Mighty Networks. Mighty Networks has four plans to fit different community and business needs. Each plan comes with its own set of features, automations, and integrations, so you can pick what works best for your goals. The pricing is monthly, but you can save money with annual billing, which gives you two free months. The community plan is the simplest and most affordable option at $49 per month. It's great for anyone building a new community or moving an existing group from social media or chat apps to a more organized platform. This plan includes helpful tools like events and polls, making it easier to engage your members with discussions and activities. It's a solid choice for individuals or small businesses looking to create an interactive online space. The courses plan costs $119 per month and is great for anyone who wants to share educational content or create a learning experience. It's perfect for adding courses, challenges, or resource libraries. This makes it a good choice for educators, coaches, or businesses that want to share their knowledge and earn from it. With this plan, you get tools to organize learning in a clear and simple way. It works well for building an online learning community with focused course content. The business plan, which costs $219 per month, is the most popular choice. It comes with advanced tools to help you connect your community with other platforms. Plus, it includes features like single sign-on or SSO for easy logins and auto-generated polls to keep members engaged without extra effort. This plan works great for businesses that want to grow their community. It supports live streaming, white labeling, and other advanced features. It's a good fit for communities that are already established and want a more professional branded experience. The Path to Pro plan is the top tier option at 430 $30 per month. It comes with the most advanced tools for automation and customization. This plan works well for businesses and large communities that need dedicated services, better support, and more white labeling options. With features like space banners and advanced automations, it's a great choice for those who want to scale up and improve both 
revenue and efficiency. This plan is perfect for enterprises or fast growing organizations that need powerful tools to customize and automate their community management smoothly. All right, that's it for this tutorial. I hope this video helped you understand the basics of using Mighty Networks. If it helps, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.